Hello, hello, Aries. Hello to all of the Aries out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in June. This reading will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your moon, Venus, and rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like you connect with this reading, and you want to show some support to this channel, feel free to hit the subscription link if you have not already, along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also, hit that thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. And for something more private, more detailed and specific to your story, your situation, the link for private readings will be posted in the description box below the video along with my uh, website. So right now, you may need clarity about the stability of a relationship. Some of you may feel as though there is a third party going on. Some of you may be in the same sex relationship. From what I'm seeing, I'm seeing three um, feminine energies. Could be three masculine energies as well, but apply the energy as if it's to your story. Someone here overall is needing clarity about the stability of a relationship. I feel like in the past, you had open communication with this person. You may have overcame the obstacles that were standing in between you two during that time. But things are still stuck right now. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces. Leo's energy is here as well. I feel like you are feeling as if you are going around in circles. You're repeating cycles. But I feel like this may be something that is all in your mind. You feel like you don't have any decisions at this time. Any choices. Like there is something here that you are undecided about. Something here that you are unsure about. And it's making you say, hmm, like one of those things could be a person, but it's there's something here that's making you feel like, hmm, that's what I'm hearing. Some of you um, in a, in a near future, immediate future, I see you um, focusing on your money or some of you may be working a lot at this time, trying to... Um, I see you working on yourself as well as working in a business. You may be reading a lot at this time, um, ordering books or doing something with books. You fear this relationship that you're in. You fear this relationship that you're in. I feel like it's because you. some of you may have had to cut someone off. Or you just you cut someone off. So now that there is um, someone here, you're in another or dealing with someone else, you have a fear here. You Your fear is that things will turn out the way that they have in the past. And that's where I say, or where the cards are saying in the past, you're, you're feeling like you're repeating cycles over and over again. Like this is all in your mind though. You know, you, you, I feel like some of you, um, are, yeah, because here's your energy Aries in the reverse. You're not even in standing in your power right now. You feel like you're out of control. Like something here is you're hoping that you're not out of control. You're hoping that you are not out of sync with the things that you really want. And I feel like you are feeling like that because with the star card in a reverse, you're, you're not healed. You're not healed. You're, you're still, you still may be going through the healing process or need to heal. Yeah, because in the past, you were broken hearted. Here we go. And this could be you or your partner. So apply the energy as it fits to your story. But someone here was broken hearted regarding a family situation. Okay. It could be because someone was trying to breadcrumb you or this you had a friends with benefits. But I'm seeing... A broken heart pertaining to a family. Someone here was immature. Yeah, you were dealing with a player. 
with that knight of wands someone was here there everywhere this person may be coming back in could be a scorpio but i'm seeing someone coming back in wanting a second chance but this person is still deceptive they're still deceptive with that seven of swords this person is still sneaky they still sneak off doing things at night this person could have stole something from you i'm seeing a thief in the night Some of you may be dealing with a Libra or have Libra in your chart. Cancer's energy is here. But I'm seeing you be okay. So this is what it, this you're undecided about walking away from this deceptive person. And this is why you can't move forward and heal and be with the, this new person or open up to this new person like that because you, some of you are stuck in the past. This is either you or your person. There's. There's some type of um, soul tie that needs to be broke. And the thought of this new beginning, this, because you have a new beginning here, but the thought of this new beginning brings on anxiety. And I feel like it's because you have a fear that this person is going to be your wish fulfillment. I feel like something with this in this situation is going to come full circle for you. And um, I feel like sometimes when you go through things in life, um, certain, we gravita gravitate sometimes towards certain types of energies. And that's where I see anxiety and fear coming in and overthinking because it's like you you may not want to give this new person a chance because you're um, recreating the same cycle. You're recreating, manifesting, um, unconsciously manifesting the same type of cycle again. So I feel like with this star card in the reverse and you not being in the healing phase, I feel like overall take some time out for yourself to heal and get to know who you are and what you really want because i see thing i see um i see you running off turning your back on this person this new person because of out of confusion and spirit is saying now it's time to move towards peace and harmony because this person and it may not even be with this person but just within yourself um, move towards healing so that when a, someone comes along that you, you know, want to take things to the next level or want to build something with, you're in the right energy to do so. Because right now you're not. And it's driving you crazy because it, I see like in your mind is like, okay, things are moving too fast. You know, uh, um, I'm seeing either you're traveling to this person or they're traveling to you. But from what I'm seeing is one person is presenting themselves as being okay, but they are really feeling de defeated internally because someone here is thinking about the seeds that they already planted. And that's where the fear of this union, fear of a new union is coming into play because someone is thinking about the past. So I feel like a decision pertaining to a commitment needs to take place. There's a decision here pertaining to a commitment of the past. And with someone you cut off, that needs to take place. Because I still see two people spying on each other, not one. You and this past person could be spying on each other. Driving past each other's home, checking out social media pages driving past someone's workplace, asking family and friends about one another because um, someone may see you as being um, happy. Again, presenting yourself as everything is okay, but deep down inside, you're overthinking, you're overwhelmed, you need to heal. And this is what's causing you to um, hold back from this new relationship because there's a new there's someone new here and i feel like this person is not getting a fair chance 
because you're, you may be still healing or your partner is still healing. But again, this person is not getting a fair chance because you're, you or them, whomever, whichever side of the fence you're on, someone is thinking about this past person because there are multiple people here in this reading. And so I see someone here um, is still feeling disappointed and betrayed and needing to take time out to heal. Someone here needs to take time out to heal. I'm going to leave it at that, Aries. This, the reading is saying the same thing now. So um, if this is you that needs to heal, take that time out and heal so that you can move forward. But I'm going to leave it at that, um, Aries. This is your reading for the energy in June. Comment below. Let me know. If this is your story, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.